Hi there, in this video we are going to talk about the main online acquisition channel. So you may find exhaustive lists about uh, all the different marketing uh, channels that you can uh, use actually from email marketing to SEO to display advertising. To, and you can find like this many, many, many different um, channels. For the sake of uh, this course, I'm just going to talk about the main one. Um, the first one that I didn't mention here, which is not uh, digital, but could be, is um, let's say everything we deal with street marketing or uh, physical marketing. Just to let you know that uh, right now there are technologies that you can use in order to link uh, physical things to uh, digital. So typically the most useful uh, use case is the QR code. So just to let you know that any uh, actions that you can have, for example, like printing things on, on t-shirt, for example. Um, maybe you're not going to put a QR code there, but maybe you can insert what we call a vanity URL, which will redirect to your website and which will uh, give you, of course, information about the people who saw uh, those, uh, those given t-shirts. So just to let you know that the main category I should have talked about here is really uh, physical marketing, okay? You can always link them back uh, to your website. Uh, in any cases, for any of those acquisition channels that I'm going to mention here, what's going to make it the right fit for you is really the working methodology that you define uh, before going for those uh, given channels. Okay? Before putting the money on the table, you need to clearly define your working methodology, which is about okay, what are you going to do on those uh, different channels. The second channel that I can identify is word to mouth. So, so to say that's your reputation. So the fact that people are going to just type uh, your uh, domain name within the address bar and access uh, directly on your website. So here, this is always the same uh, best practices that I'm giving you, which is about take your time to decide carefully what's going to be uh, your domain name or the URL on which uh, you're going to communicate. Choose the appropriate uh, top level domain name. Think about your brand. Uh, before thinking about keywords, note as well that search engine are kind of banning uh, exact match domain names. So think always about the brand before thinking about the keyword you choose within your domain name. Make it uh, easy to understand and remember. So make it short and uh, make it as well uh, easy to pronounce and uh, avoid playing on, on words or numbers and that kind of thing because it makes kind of headache. Um, next online channel that uh, most of you will go about is search engine optimization. So it can uh, refer to many different things according to the, let's say, the end uh, use that you're going to have. So for example, let's imagine that it's about um, making your website or your website known on the dark web or that kind of thing. Well, of course, you will not use the traditional search engine optimization tips, but you will use uh, other ways to make your website uh, visible. Uh, same stuff if uh, you are playing with um, an e-commerce platform and for this e-commerce platform, what you would like to index better are the, the products. So you will see that just the words within uh, your uh, product sheet description are not gonna make uh, enough uh, job. Um, about search engine optimization, most of the time it refers about uh, how you can make your website more visible uh, within Google because Google is, is ruling uh, the uh, market shares. Uh, just to let you know that whatever search engine you're going to consider, here is a Google or is a Yandex or is a Quant or whatever other search engine, they all come with a documentation, an official documentation, which explains how you can make your website more visible within their search engine. And it's really interesting to have a look at those documentation. So as the last news that they are releasing about the new feature that they implemented for the search engine, because they are giving you all the time the little hints in order to optimize your website accordingly. Same thing if you look through the uh, patents that uh, they are uh, publishing, because like this, it gives you kind of the idea of the future and how you should invest your efforts in order for your website to rank uh, better. So I'm not going to develop that much about search engine optimization more, but it's about making uh, your uh, website visible within the search engine results page without uh, spending money, just uh, time and effort. Um, just to let you know as well that there is an open source search engine which is very popular, which is called Yassi, that you can play with in order to understand, in fact, uh, what is really search engine optimization about. Uh, what is about uh, SEO algorithm and that kind of thing. I 
uh, publish the full course about it. So uh, feel free to have a look at it on the Floss Marketing School. Next acquisition channel that I would like to introduce you, which as well is really popular, is online advertising. So online advertising refer to all the ads uh, that you are seeing here and there, right? You see here the word is written in French, written annonce, but in uh, English stands for ad. So it means that here the results which are displayed over here are uh, sponsored and you can see all the time on website that they even appear in different colors. They even clearly claim that they are ads. And in fact, what it means is that a company, so this one paid, who paid the owner of the website um, in order to make the ad appear here. So uh, online advertising is about making your website more visible within any website who accepted to put some ads on. And then you pay a fee uh, every time that someone's going to interact with those ads or every time it's going to be displayed or every time that someone's going to purchase something uh, thanks to this uh, given ad. Uh, so you can see a lot of ads everywhere on different websites. Uh, for example, here is another example, here's another example. Um, and uh, what I strongly advise you to do is just to have a look at this technology named Revive. So Revive is an open source ad server which really help you understand how online advertising is working, um, what you can do with it and how far you can go rather than uh, going straight uh, to those different uh, advertising solutions such as the one provided by Google or the one provided by Criteo or any other advertising platform because uh, you need to understand the big picture before uh, going to play with your money there. Um, next is uh, social media optimization which is as well a huge online acquisition channel which really depends on the personality. Um, that uh, you guys have uh, within your organization. So here's an example of Mastodon, which is the example of Twitter. Um, and uh, of course, uh, social media optimization consists in having a, a community manager who will be here in order to listen to your customer, listen to uh, potential leads and try to, uh, to convert them. I'm not going to spend that much time as well on social network because that's probably one of the most popular online acquisition channels. So you may already know that by heart. Um, next one I would like to introduce uh, briefly is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is uh, closely linked with online advertising. In fact, they are not that much different between the two. I uh, will say that the main difference that I identify and when we talk about online advertising, it's mainly about uh, cost per click and cost per mail. So per thousand of uh, impressions. Whereas uh, when we are talking about affiliate marketing, it's not always the case but it's mostly about cost per acquisition, okay? So uh, companies which are ready to um, uh, pay you if uh, a sales is happening on their website uh, based on the advertising that you publish on your website. So uh, you have many different actors there within the affiliate marketing world, uh, such as Trade Doubler, for example. And what those companies are doing, they are putting in, in relations, in fact, advertiser and publisher, so, so to say. Um, people such as those companies, organizations such as uh, those who would like actually to uh, put their ads uh, within the system of Trade Doubler in order to make them available for uh, publishers and the publishers are the ones who are going to put the ad on their website in order uh, to get money out of it. So. What you have to know about affiliate marketing, it really depends about their inventory. So uh, in fact, you need to see uh, within each affiliate uh, marketing platform, what are the different uh, websites that they have, what are the different clients they're working with in order to see if uh, there are good advertising uh, to go and fetch uh, from there in order to build uh, your own services or in order to uh, put some ads on your website. What I mean by build your own services, let's imagine, for example, that you have a price comparison website. Well, definitely affiliate marketing are platforms which are going to give you a product fed that you can uh, use in order to create uh, your affiliate uh, platform. Next, uh, but not least, uh, online acquisition channel, um, emailing and newsletter. I'm not going to develop this one much because it's kind of straightforward. It consists of sending emails at the right time uh, to the right person or even to send it to lists 
of uh, potential leads that you um, that you purchase, let's say, or that you get through different ways, such as, I don't know, gaming system or that kind of thing. Um, I published a full course about it, about emailing, which is available on the on the platform uh, by using PHP List. Uh, there are, of course, other providers, but PHP List is a free software. That's why I recommend it to you. Um, another online acquisition channel that I really like uh, because it's uh, the best uh, way to see if your product has a chance or not is uh, couponing or let's say grouping websites. Uh, biggest example will be Groupon, uh, so a um, website on which uh, you can send your offer and then um, you negotiate with let's say the, the company behind in order to see at what price you may offer uh, your products of course. Uh, the interest is to offer it at the minimum possible price in order for the offer to be uh, as much attractive as possible. And as a result, you will see if people are purchasing your product. It's really great if uh, you have no idea if uh, your product is good or not. It may give you as well a good idea of what is the price which is expected by uh, the, end, uh, the end user. And that's uh, in fact everything that I wanted to show you about online acquisition channels in general. So of course, uh, there's no channel which are better than another one. Just about you need to test them or you need to get the information from other people that some uh, channel are better fit for uh, your activity. And thanks to that, uh, you will see if uh, the people that you are attracting from those uh, channels are qualitative or not. Um, of course, you have other channels. So the list here is far from being exhaustive. Video marketing, podcasting, e-commerce marketplaces, price comparison website, uh, blogging, and many, many, many other. But if I continue, this video will probably be like a one hour long and that's not uh, the purpose of it. I really hope uh, that you enjoyed this video and it helps you understand a little bit more about online acquisition channels. Thanks for watching.